Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Jamie. Thank you guys for coming and checking out the videos. Today I'm going to share something a little bit different with you guys. Um, I want to talk a little bit about some emotional freedom techniques. Um, one in particular is called tapping. I learned this through my schooling and I'm excited to share it with you guys. It has helped me tremendously in a lot of areas of my life. What I love so much about it is it's super simple, it's easy to do, um, and it's easy to remember once you get into the flow of doing it. <clears throat> it's also instant results. You know, I find that when I do this, I immediately feel better. I feel relieved and I can go on about my day um, feeling happier, feeling lighter, feeling better. So I don't know about you guys, um, but I know for me personally, I have um, things in life that stress me out or make me feel overwhelmed. And I use this tapping technique a lot for getting through that stress. Um, basically with tapping, what it is, it's, um, it's like a form of acupuncture or acupre acupressure where it's believed that there are certain meridian points um, throughout the body or energy hotspots, um, as they're often referred to, um, where energy uh, is coming in and exiting the body at these specific points, or it's like manifesting and being created at these points to radiate within and around you. Um, I am also a firm believer that if you change the way you think, then you can completely change your life. And with that in mind, um, using this tapping technique that really embodies that idea as well. So basically, um, I have this book here with me just to kind of show you guys. It's called The Tapping Solution. If you're interested in checking it out and learning more about this, um, it's by Nick Ortner. I'm sure you can probably hop on Amazon or somewhere and find it. So, with the tapping technique, um, I'll just kind of briefly explain it to you and then I'm going to show you for myself how I use it and what to do. So, it's an emotional freedom technique and, and with that, I have an understanding. This is the best way I can think of to explain it. For example, um, say you're having a moment where you are angry with your boss, you know, and you get really, really, really upset and you call your friend up and you say, you know, my boss really ticked me off today. I'm so freaking angry right now. I could scream at the top of my lungs. I'm shaking my teeth are chattering, you know, I'm so angry, I could just go off, you know. So, and there are times when we can't always call up a friend and vent, you know, or there's times when that anger or that emotional response can take over us and we react in a negative way. So, to prevent that from happening and to help you with processing the emotion that you're feeling, um, you know, you are able to tap on a specific point on the body while speaking out loud what you're feeling and um, where you feel it in the body. We're, you're going to get very detailed during this process. So, um, just like you would with a best friend. And so, as you're tapping on these points, what's happening is you're changing the energy that's coming in and going out or being created and you are changing your emotional response or you're, you are changing the emotional attachment that you have to what you're experiencing. So I'll just show you guys, um, for example, with me right now, 
currently in my life, I am struggling um, with my future vision of where I'm going with this channel, what I'm doing. Um, I'm currently still in school right now. I haven't gra graduated quite yet, but I'm on my way there. And I just kind of have a hard time with not being in con complete control of my outcome right now. So it gets overwhelming for me and I have a tendency to let that drag me down and cause me to be unmotivated or cause me to have self doubt or have those negative thoughts that come up, you know, and eventually cause me to have a lack of energy and unmotivation. So I'll just show you guys a tapping sequence before we get started though the first thing you need to do is come up with a scale to rate what it is that you're experiencing um, the technical term for it is called a suds scale and you guys can look that up that's called s-u-d-s -S. Um, so whatever it is you're currently experiencing you come up with a scale. So for me, my scale is gonna be one to 10. One being bad, the worst, 10 being the best. So whenever I think of my anxiety regarding um, the outcome of my success, my career, um, I would say when I think about it, when I get upset about it on a sub scale, it would probably be like a good seven, you know, a rating of a set. I'm, I'm sorry. One was my worst. <laughs> so one being the worst, I would say I'm probably at like a four. Okay. So when I get, when I start thinking about it and I start getting stressed out about it, I'm at like a level four. So. What you're going to do is you're going to start with the karate chop and you can do either hand, whichever feels more comfortable or better for you. And you just start tapping right here on the karate chop, on the karate chop spot. And you're going to say to yourself, like you're going to construct your own saying for whatever it is you're experiencing. But right now this is just an example. So for me, even though I feel this anxiety about the outcome of my career, I completely accept myself. And you'll say this three times. Even though I feel this anxiety about the outcome of my career, I completely accept myself. Even though I feel this anxiety about the outcome of my career, I completely accept myself. So then what you're gonna do is go along to the next tapping point. This next tapping point is going to be at the corner of the eyebrow. And you're gonna tap here. This anxiety makes me frustrated. To the outer eyebrow. This anxiety causes me to lose my energy. This anxiety causes my stomach to be upset. This anxiety makes me not want to eat. This anxiety makes me want to give up on schooling. This anxiety makes me confused about my path. This anxiety really is hard to deal with. This anxiety overwhelms me. Okay, so each of those points, it was the karate chop, inner eyebrow, outer eyebrow, under the nose, the chin, each side of the collarbone, under the arm and top of the head so that's one round one sequence round and it's okay if you can't remember the exact points it's okay if you get confused on the you know 
pattern in which you're going, it's all right. This is going to help you regardless of if you're doing it right or not. The most important thing is to make sure you're descriptively explaining what it is you're experiencing in that moment. What, what is it doing to your body? Why do you feel this way? What is it making you think? You know, all these things you want to get as descriptive, as descriptive as you can during your tapping sequence. Um, and once you've tapped one round, you'll check in and you'll re-rate your sud scale. If the number has increased um, and it gets worse, that's okay. You're just going to tap again right back through that same sequence. So, for example, for me right now, my sud scale has uh, gone up to uh, like a three now because I'm thinking more about it and I've, I've caused those emotions to come up within me. So, I'm going to tap ar around again just so you guys can see something different that I'm going to do though this time is I'm going to introduce positive statements, okay? Statements of gratitude, um, affirmations, things of that nature to help me with um, bringing in a positive um, attachment to what I'm experiencing and to uplift myself and make myself feel better. So, here we go. Even though I'm feeling this anxiety about the outcome of my career, I completely accept myself. Even though I'm feeling this anxiety about the outcome of my career, I completely accept myself. Even though I feel this anxiety about the outcome of my career, I completely accept myself. This anxiety can really take a toll on my body. But I can have faith in my path. Even though I have this anxiety, I'm still thankful that I have the option to go to school. Even though I don't know the outcome, I trust in the divine plan. Even though I don't know the outcome, I can be excited and learn along the way. Even though I don't know the outcome, I know that I will be successful because I'm determined. I completely accept myself. Okay, so now I'll check in with my scale again. And right now I feel much better. Um, that scale number has gone down for me and I'm feeling better about it. So this is just a really super awesome technique that I learned and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry if I was a little bit jumbled in explaining it as I am new to sharing it with others. Um, it's more so something that I've used for myself to help me on my journey to truth, enlightenment, growth, etc. Um, you can also use this for physical pain. You can use this technique for manifesting your desires. You can use this technique to reprogram past beliefs um, and many other things. Um, just to create some optimism in your body and in your life. You can also use it for that as well. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a wonderful, amazing day. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. Also, check out the other videos on the channel. Thanks, guys. Bye.